idea, then I start to move on it. I don't have to have all the answers. It's about just starting to say, can I start thinking about my idea and start working on that? I see in the feed, like, set your short and long-term goals. I mean, that is right. that is right there in the middle of that. You you Once you write this down, that's how you start the goal-setting process. I mean, they, she just took the next thing off my list, was like, set small goals. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, it's really setting those small goals. And, and if you set a small goal, then you get to the larger goal by setting small goals. And I know, Cindy, you're always setting goals. Like, you'll, you'll set a big goal and say, I want to get Denzel Washington here. And, <laughs> and, and I'll say, Denzel that's Washington. That's still one of my goals. <laughs> I'll say, Denzel Washington, where, where's the small goal? And your goals are like. <laughs> and then three weeks later, you'll say, so Denzel said he might make it a big goal. I'm like, <laughs> What? And so I, I'm serious. But that's all about believing, right? <laughs> and it's funny because people, <laughs> I remember I was watching two particular people at the same time for our annual awards fundraising gala. Mm -hmm. And I just said, oh my God, they're truly amazing. I'm going to get them. I need to honor them. I think they're doing amazing work outside of us knowing them to be mm -hmm an actor or a right. musician or whatever and at the at maybe two months later they said yes and those mm -hmm. two people was Wyclef Jean and Omari Hardwick of, mm -hmm. um, amazing poet amazing actor amazing supporter and um, it was so genuine from mm -hmm. them and, and I also like to work with people that are genuine right you mm -hmm. want to work with people mm -hmm. that are you know surrounding yourself with amazing people your team i have to shout out my team um james watson alicia goodridge erica yep. peugeot all these people that all great are folks. great folks you guys you Ken, mm. kenny makita all you guys michelle mays all you guys that are supporting us we need that support around you Right, you got to get haters yes. away from you. You right. know, you can right. say hi. <laughs> you right. got to get people that's gonna push you. Right? Some people, somebody used to tell me that Cindy, you put the battery in my back, but you just pound me too much. <laughs> right? And I was, and I, I, I took, I was like, wait a minute, but I want you to do better. You want people right. that are around you that want you to do better. Mm -hmm. That are there. The steps, your family, my sister, my brother, Adoa. Donald, like, you know, my, my niece, Shanae, and my cousin Linda, like, we, you know, they're, so, they're always supporting me. They come to my events, you know? Mm. So I, I'm happy that I have the support of my family. I have support of Reverend Dr. Alfonso Wyatt, you know, mm -hmm. he's like my mm -hmm. papa, right? So it's like all these people that are there and they, they, they connect you with these amazing people that will, they know eventually will also mentor you and get you to the next level. Stephen Powell. Oh my God. He's mm -hmm. such an amazing person too. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to shout out everybody, give plugs. Cause these people, I want them to know that I appreciate them. You have to you surround got long, You got a long list. I don't know how you can. I got a long like list. Miss right? <laughs> <laughs> Pauletta Washington. She's amazing <laughs> as well. Everybody knows Miss Pauletta. So there's just so many amazing people that, are around us, my girlfriend Ursula Harvey, like all these amazing people that are around us, that support us, that want us to do better, that want us to 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 be successful. Those are the people that you want around you. Sometimes with me, I will not lie, I will not tell you what's happening until it has happened. <laughs> Everybody doesn't have to know everything, right? And I say that because the end result is what you want to present to people. Right, right, right. Like, I'll call you guys, and I'm like, yo, guess who we have? Or guess right, who's going right. to the school? Or guess who's going to do such and such, right? So I, I don't want to ever set set a goal that I can't, you know, get to or accomplish. So I, right. I just think people need to surround themselves with great people. Right, and I want to, you know, two things you mentioned. In and positive energy. About... I see my sister's on here. She said positive energy and positive, positive people energy. on me. Shout That's out to right. Adoa. And, and, and people <laughs> ask the question, like, how do you get these people? Like, how do you, I always get the question, Ken, how do you get rid of the haters? I mean, that's how people pose it. And they're not going anywhere. Right. They're, they're, if they're, they're not around, around, it's a problem. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> then, then, then you really know something's wrong. <laughs> it, it, it's really like, you don't have to like really go get rid of them. What happens is 
when you start filling yourself with positivity, you're attracting other positive people to your circle. So you start going, so you're on a call, like we were on a call with Susan Taylor about, you know, mental wellness and health. You invite the hater to that call. Well, they don't want to go to that. They don't, they, they want to be, they want to hate. They want, they want a hating call. They don't want to go on a call mm -hmm. to talk about wellness. Then the next day you're saying, I'm going to this school. Uh, we're going to go speak to these children. You want to come? Well, they, they busy. They don't want to come to that. So mm -hmm. eventually what happens is you look around, the only people that are standing with you are the ones that want to take part in the positive things that you're doing. So they kind of, mm -hmm. they kind of fade themselves back. And you don't even have to tell them. You're just busy doing positive things. Every time they call you, you're doing positive things. You're on with Alfonso White. You guys are talking about how to improve this, how to improve that. You're busy doing that. And if you invite them to that, they are not coming there to say, let me add to the conversation. They, they feel uncomfortable in those situations because they know they're not about positivity. So they're not comfortable in that room. So they're like, OK, if I go in that room with you, you need to stand next to me the whole time because I don't know what to do here in this room and so you don't have to really worry about the tip there is like just saying i'm gonna hang up on every hater you don't have to they won't call you anymore <laughs> it's because you'll be listen you'll be i actually want my haters if there are any or anybody that doesn't understand what i'm doing to join me because you could mm. you know you could switch somebody's attitude yeah. about something because they don't understand that right that's ignorance right they don't understand you want mm. them to understand you want them to come on your team it's up to right. them if they do but you want them you know all right you don't understand you hating on this or you're feeling a certain kind of way i want you to see that it's not for me it's for you too it's a community we are in a village we have to help our young people we have to help our elders we have to help our people out like are you happy with the way things are? I'm not happy with the way things are. I'm going to do what I need to do. I know so many people give us compliments. Oh, DTE is doing this. DTE is doing that. DTE is doing that. I don't even think we've hit the surface yet at all. Mm. We're mm. in our 12th year. I feel like we haven't even done anything because people see the lights, camera, action, but the nitty gritty or, you know, going down on, you know, with the boots on the ground, like Susan says, with your boots mm. on the ground, they don't see. You know what I right. mean? So it's like, you need people that's, that, that are with you, the boots on the ground. You need to mm. see that to understand the journey. Mm.